Hey guys, welcome back to some more Cricket Captain 2017 and part 36 of the Road to World Number 1 with England. You're hearing me voice today, hooray, hooray, yes I know, it, it was better when you didn't have me voice, but you've got it back anyway, and yeah, I, I'm sorry about that technical glitch yesterday, my mic was muted for some reason um, on the OBS software, and because everything is sort of laid over each other, and it's all recorded in one, I couldn't sort of zoom out of um, webcam and take that off so you had my ugly mug on there no matter no matter what which I'm sure you enjoyed and um, and yeah uh, we won the, the last match by an innings in 68 runs if you didn't see it now understand if you didn't uh, stick around and watch it but um, New Zealand 232 all out uh, Broad and Anderson getting three wickets each there, very, very good. And then we responded with 422, a lovely century from Moan Alley, 138. Michael Fogden with 58 as well, doing very well. Uh, in the second innings, we tore um, New Zealand to shreds. Kane Williamson retired out in the first innings, so we only had to take nine wickets. Stokes, four for 33, and Alley, two for 13, meaning Moan Alley was man of the match as we won by an innings and 68 runs. So we've got to go into today's game um, and hopefully you know win it um, we know a draw would be enough to, to help us along in this would get an extra point because the last time we played uh, New Zealand we actually drew nil nil with them so it would be good to go and turn that around and get a series victory um, and we'll do that right now let's get into the match Alistair Cook um, is going to start with Keaton Jennings, I guess, uh, keeping his place. Although I am tempted to put Duckett in there instead because we have got plenty of bowlers, haven't we? We don't need Jennings for his uh, bowling. Um, and yeah, other than that, go for an unchanged lineup. Let's get into it. Um, Heads has won the last few tosses, and we would love to, dearly love to bat first on this surface. So we'll go for Heads again. Um, we should have went Tails. It's been like five heads in a row. Um, so we've went for went for heads. We've lost it. And now we're going to have to uh, get ten New Zealand wickets as revenge for losing the toss. So here we go. Broad and Anderson not off to the best of starts. We'll bring Walks and Stokes in now. Chris Walks to lay them. And he gets his first wicket. Lay them gone for nine and New Zealand. 19 for one here. Come on. Stokes now to Guptill. That's high in the air. Guptill, surely ancient now. Guptill gone for 25. Let's have a look at Guptill. He is 33. I don't think he played in the first test match. No. Um, has he played even this year? No, he has. He has. Fair enough. Um, so, Guptill gone anyway for 25. Stokes with his first wicket. And New Zealand 47 for 2. Walks now to Bruce. That's a terrific delivery. Bruce gone for 16. Walks with his th uh, second wicket and the third wicket of the inning so far. And now New Zealand 52 for 3. We're going to bring Moan Alley in with Stuart Broad and see what partnership they can have. Anderson, uh, uh, sorry, Broad to Anderson. Not out. Um, and that's the lunch interval on day one. They've reached 89 for 3. Not a bad run rate, but. Uh, yeah, they've lost more wickets than they they would have hoped. Anderson in now. That's a good delivery to Taylor. And it's out. I thought that was missing leg stump. We'll have a look at this. No, it was just clipping it. He's gone for 30. Uh, Ross Taylor, he must be ancient as well. Goodness me. They've, they've brought back the legends for this game, haven't they? Uh, goodness me. Wow. Um, We'll see Scotty Styrus next. Let us know if you remember Scotty Styrus down in the comments. Nah. Um, walks now to Anderson. That's a good delivery. And Anderson's gone for 25. It's 118 for 5 here. This has been a, a terrific ball and performance uh, from everyone, really, except Broad. But he's hopefully going to chip in now, and he does. Nichols gone for 15. This is such brilliant ball. And thank you to whoever told us to go for default. Uh, line and length and aggression. Uh, it really has helped. I don't know whether it's just placebo effect. Uh, you know, whether we would do this run of form anyway, but 
No, very, very good. Tainable day one, 193 for six. Um, we still need uh, to get four New Zealand wickets here. And there's one of them. Watland gone for 48. Anderson with his second wicket now. I tell you what, Ali's not doing that well, is he? Uh, we'll bring Walks in to show him how it's done. Walks to Southie. Nope. Walks to Ferguson, though. Oof. Tell you what, some terrific deliveries here. And... He's very unlucky not to have a wicket there. Broad to Ferguson. Edged and gone. Ferguson gone for 59. A decent innings from him. 243 for 8. Would love to keep them under 300 again. Broad to Wagner. He's gone for 6. And, well, can Walks get the final wicket? Walks to Southie. No. Broad to Southie. That's high in the air. Is there anybody out there? There is. And it's caught. By Moen Ali, Southie gone for 27 and New Zealand 270 all out broad, 4 for 74 after struggling to take a wicket early on but Walks 3 for 66 was particularly impressive and now we've got Cook and Duckett hopefully going to survive the rest of the day, they do and there is the end of day 1, We're, we ended 257 runs behind New Zealand, ah oh, Duckett gone for 11, disappointing. Bairstow now in and he's gone for a duck so we're 25 for two yeah very poor start of day two uh, it is a lot cloudier all of a sudden so it is more um, bowler friendly conditions root dropped early on how important is that going to be Cook gone for 20 mm, this isn't good I tell you what New Zealand are ripping through our top order um, Root gone for 28, it's now 68 for 4, rain stops play, maybe that'll help us a little bit, um, rain stops play again and another half an hour has been lost, it is cloudy, um, but hopefully we can get back on track now that we've brought them into the dressing room and told them, you know, get your eye, get your act together here, um, Teenable on day two, Livingston and Fogden going very nicely, 152 for 4, we're still 118 behind, the Kiwis, both of them have gone to 50, which is great to see. The youngsters, Livingston, 26. I mean, he's not exactly a youngster, but you know, he's he's in the sort of youth of his Test cricket career. Michael Fogden, most definitely a youngster, 21. Livingston gone for 73. That's a shame. Uh, we'd certainly love another century from Moan Alley at this point. Most definitely. Um, I'll tie in the air though. And Ali's gone. Ali's out for 11. That's a big wicket. 100 for Michael Fogden then. That is his fourth test century. He's averaging nearly 60 with the bat in his first 11 test matches. What a brilliant uh, player he's been for us so far. End of day two. 262 for six. Looks like we are going to uh, get a, a miniature um, first innings lead at the very least. Ooh, Stokes edging for four. If Stokes can start attacking, Fogden gone for 111. Now Walks comes to the crease. Oh, Stokes has been hit hard. This wouldn't be good because Stokes is one of our best bowlers. Oh, he's lucky. He's lucky. And hopefully he can go and get 100 now. Walks gone for two, so it's all up to Ben Stokes if we're to get to 300 and he's gone for 21 so it's all up to Stuart Broad now um, and he's truly not going to do anything is he but you never know we're on 299 now uh, we've actually passed 300 we're now 304 for 9 we've, we're, we're edging towards a, a decent first innings lead here Stuart Broad actually doing very well Stuart Broad goes to 50 what a brilliant innings he's had let's have a look at it he's just whacked it all over the park especially the leg side uh, 10 fours and Stu Broad where's he got this from he's gone oh no he's not he's not gone that must have been a bump ball that could be out though it's not and Stu Broad is going for it out there he's on 63 now go on son that's an edge and it's safe and again, but we want him to, you know, keep strike. And he is 64. He's on now. Goodness me, Stuart Broad has perhaps won us the match in this innings. Oh, he's dropped. He's dropped. 
He's on 74. Can Stuart Broad go and get his second test century? He's on form today. This is what happens to Stuart Broad sometimes. He just sees it like a football and just whacks it all over the park. And I tell you what, he's really frustrating the, uh, the New Zealanders here. But Anderson, you know, he's doing all right as well. He's on 18. Managing to stay out of it. Um, 96 Stuart Broad's on now. What a shame it would be if Anderson got out. Broad's out, I think. I think Broad's out. He is. He's gone for 96. What a performance from Stuart Broad with the bat there. Goodness me, that must be his second highest ever score. Disappointing he couldn't go and get a sentry, but we've now got a first innings lead of 137. That could be fatal for the New Zealanders. Uh, Anderson's going to open up with Latham. They've just had a brilliant partnership with the bat. Can they go and do it with the ball? Broad now to Guptill. That's high in the air, and it's going to be four. Very lucky there. Broad to Guptill again. Terrific delivery. Um, Broad to Guptill again. Edged and dropped. Wow. We've had a couple of chances early on here and put them down. Stokes to lay them though. That's four. Mmm. T and on day three then. 79 without loss. Mmm. Stokes to lay them. Edged and gone. Good catch by Cook. Lay them out for 34. And Stokes is the man that makes the breakthrough. Stokes to Guptill. He's gone for 59 now. This is why it was so important that Stokes didn't retire hurt. And that's the third wicket. Uh, Wokes gets the, the wicket. Anderson gone. And now we're, we're starting to take charge here. Which is brilliant to see. Anderson and Broad. What can you two do? Anderson gets a wicket. Bruce gone for 30. Can Broad get his first wicket? Anderson to Taylor now. And again. Better delivery and gone. He's out for 12. It's now New Zealand 149 for 5. We need to get these last two sort of recognised batsmen out. Anderson and Nichols. I think that was a bump ball. Uh, we're going to bring Wokes and Stokes for the last over. High in the air. It's for lucky, streaky. And end of day three, 187 for five. The lead by 50. We'll start the day with Wokes and Stokes. Stokes to Nichols. He's gone for 32. Come on. We haven't even bowled Moan Alley yet. Do we bring him in now? Try and see what he can do. Anderson to Watlin. Not doing anything here. Wokes and Stokes. Wokes to Watlin. I'll tell you what, we need to get these out soon. Lunch interval day four, 262 for six. New ball available. Let's hoy it straight to James Anderson and Stu Broad. See if they can do anything with it. Anderson to Ferguson now. Come on, Anderson to Ferguson again. We need a wicket. We need a wicket. Most definitely. Going to reduce the aggression slightly. Broad to Ferguson. And he's gone for 44. That's surely the breakthrough we needed. Um, I mean, they're, they're building a decent lead here. And it is going to be a challenge to chase it down. Most definitely. Um, Stokes to Southie. Gone. What a catch from Root. Southie out for four. Goodness me. Walks now to Watlin. He's gone for 65. Come on. One more wicket, that's all we need. Walks to Bolt. He's gone for seven. Walks gets his third wicket and 313 all out. Stokes with four for 84. Very good from him and Walks three for 79. 177 to win then. T interval day four. I don't think we're going to quite do it today. We're going to just sort of plod along hopefully and and you know edge towards the total we don't need to particularly attack um, and that'll hopefully be good for us cook dropped that could be a big moment for for them we will go and be a bit more proactive for the rest of the day because it is sunny um, and we'll see what we can do end of day 4 71 without loss we need another 106 to win on the final day 
to um, make sure that we win the series. Duckett gone for 29, another failure for him. Um, I feel like Jennings was actually hard done by and maybe could have got us a couple of useful wickets. Based all gone for 10, him at 3 isn't working is it? Southie to root now, he's gone as well for 2 so 3 quick wickets for New Zealand, we still need 75 to win here. Ball to Livingston, he's gone. And I tell you what, we need to sort of settle down here. We really need to settle down. Fogden just having a wild swing at it, that's not good to see. But it looks like he's settled down now, he's just chipping away. <laughs> Alistair Cook, the man just chipping away for us, 135 for 4. I mean, it's not great from sort of two, two and a bit sessions of cricket. But uh, we need 42 more to win. Surely we're not going to throw it away from here. But I've seen worse things. I mean, Alistair Cook, why are you playing that? Just leave it. And he's gone for 73. And now Ali comes to the crease. What an over that is for Ali. We need 22 to win. Fogden and, uh, and Ali at the crease. What can we do? Oh, goodness me. 7 to win now. 6 to win. 4 to win. 2 to win. Come on, Ferguson to Fogden, and a beautiful pull for four from Fogden, and 180 for five. We win by five wickets. Skin of the teeth stuff in the end. You know, we we had a bit of a, a middle order collapse, if you like, from sort of dug it down to to Fog uh, to to Livingston. They all went fairly cheaply, but Fogden and, and Ali managing to lead us over the line with Alastair Cook, 73. Stu Broad gets him out of the match, and he deserves it as well. That 96 runs coming in very handy in the end, because if it wasn't for them, uh, because Anderson performed well as well, 25, you know, that was a, a brilliant partnership from them too. And if we didn't have that, I tell you what, I think we'd have lost that match. But we've won by five wickets and that means we've won the New Zealand series by two tests to nil. And that moves us up in the world rankings to 21 points. Meaning that we're still eight behind Australia. But hopefully uh, we can manage to, to consolidate that next year. Let's go and see uh, who our series are against. I have heard that it's South Africa twice again. Which would be very disappointing but... Um, I guess I guess we'll just have to cope with it. Uh, have we? No, we haven't quite moved on yet. But there we go. Welcome to the 2020 season, South Africa and England. It does look that way, doesn't it? So we've got the World Cup 20 in West Indies, South Africa in England, uh, and then England in South Africa, and then England in Bangladesh. And that's it. So we've got the Bangladesh series to look forward to. I might just do the South Africa series off camera because, well, who wants to see that again? Let's be honest. Um, what did we do against Bangladesh away? Well, we drew it. So that's another point that we can win. Obviously, we need to hold on to the, the sort of two points from each series against South Africa. And uh, and then we'll get, we can see what we can do going into 2021. So... Yeah, we want to play Zimbabwe at some point as well. That is a good point. Um, we need to beat Australia. We need to beat India uh, and Pakistan as well. We need uh, to do one over. But uh, anyway, if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like. It really does mean a lot for me and for the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow for another episode. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.